I'm Grace, and this is Aaron. We're at Pretz and Crafts in Somerville, Massachusetts. Pretz and Crafts is a community maker space where kids can come to design and build cool things. Today we're going to design and build a nudge. A nudge is something that encourages people to do something good or make better choices. A nudge can be a simple sign that washing our hands helps us stay healthy, or it can be an engineering solution like this cool recycling bin made by kids in Johannesburg, South Africa that opens when you wave your hand in front of it. Over 45 billion cans are thrown away in landfills in the United States every year. That's enough cans to reach to the moon and back more than seven times. We were so inspired by the bin made by the kids in Johannesburg that we decided to build our own recycling nudge to encourage kids to throw their cans into a bin rather than into the garbage, which will help reduce landfills. This is Andrew. He's a mechanical artist and maker. He's great with electronics. He's going to help us design and build our nudge. We're using an electronics kit to make our machine. We brainstormed all our ideas on the whiteboard and came up with some really cool designs. The more we make it like a game, the more fun it will be and then we'll be able to nudge more people to recycle. We designed a machine that uses light, sound, and motion to create a fun recycling nudge that will keep people coming back. We looked through all the cool things at Parts and Crafts to see what we could use for our nudge. Oh, there's a Y. Good. We definitely use those. Recycling helps the environment, so maybe we could have animals on one side. Yeah, that would be good. I think we can use this for a recycling bin. To trigger our machine when people recycle, we need to add a sensor. We're creating a trigger with an infrared light and a sensor from our electronics kit. The infrared light creates an invisible beam to the sensor, and when trash is thrown in the bin, it breaks the beam of light, triggering our machine. When the beam of light is interrupted, the sensor notices that there's no more light, and the moment that it sees light again, it sends a signal. We tested the infrared sensor on the opening of our bin, but realized it only worked when an object passed very close to the sensor. We needed a sensor that triggered the light and sound every time trash went in the bin. Instead, what we could do is have a big flap so that if this was pushed down, the spoon would be pushed down, which would push down the pressure sensor. If trash is thrown in the bin, it will hit the cardboard, which will press down on the spoon, which will then push down on the pressure sensor, triggering a sound. We used a synthesizer from our kit to have the sensor trigger fun sounds. We used a servo motor from our kit to make a cutout of the world dance back and forth. When I press the button, which the trash will hit to make the spoon, our world will spin. We wanted the word recycle to flash with lights so people would notice. We decided to name it Recycle World because the world dances whenever you recycle. Our final recycling bin design uses parts from the electronics kit and things we found at Parts and Crafts. Our cardboard and spoon pressure sensor is a trigger that sets off our synthesizer sound, our recycling sign, and our dancing world. This is sure to nudge more people to use our fun bin. Send your ideas for a nudge to the Design Squad Global website. Recycle World!